Jackson. The back elbow ducks. Look out oh, the spear! Deca Ken with the best move! Here comes Nicolo Wild Warrior yeah. Club! Title that Brent, as we have said, Katoa never actually lost. He gave it up, relinquished it to the family of RJ Meyer. And now he, he's looking to take it back at the 21st Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup. Ken Dixon went through hell, broke his neck, almost had to hang up his boots, a career ending injury, fought back, came back at the Bruiser Strong Rumble, and then went on to defeat the Mecca, Brian Johnson for the MCW Heavyweight title, and they tore down the damn arena doing so. Collar and elbow tie up, first contact, heavyweight title on the line. As you said, Ken went through hell, not just to come back from that severe neck injury, that broken neck, but also to win the MCW Heavyweight Championship. This is a clash of personalities. Both of these men. A clash of ideologies. Clash of ideologies. The MCW faithful love both of these guys. But they couldn't be more different personalities. First cover of the night, Kakoa with the shoulders down on Dixon. Two different personalities, but as I said, Bren, two very proud. Kakoa may be a little bit more honorable but Candy is coming to his own here in MCW. Ken will pull out all stops to win. He's got no quit in him. He's a fighter, but so is the Hawaiian warrior. Beautiful T-Bone. Of course, Kakoa, Ken Dixon said, you haven't been paying attention if you think I don't have fight in me. We've seen glimpses of that dark side of Kakoa. We saw it back when he faced off against Demarcus Kane, but to go against somebody like Ken Dixon, Kakoa definitely needs to pull that out of him. He needs to go to a place that he may have never been before. A place that he may be a little frightened to go, maybe a little hesitant to go, because I will tell you this, Ken Dixon won't blink, won't lose a minute of sleep to go to the depths of hell to retain that title. Well, as, as we've heard before, sometimes when you go to that depth, when you go to that, to that part of your mind that you don't like to talk about, sometimes you might find yourself actually enjoying it. Maybe, that, maybe that's why Kakoa doesn't, doesn't want to go to that place. He might enjoy it and may never come back. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a good point is to see Kakoa lifting him off the double chop. Kakoa, though, standing his ground. Oh, beautiful back fist. And Kakoa's ideology has served him well. There's that front face pancake. It has served him well. Kakoa's here for the kids. A lot of the kids love Kakoa. But Ken Dixon... He doesn't care whether you love or hate him. He's going to leave it all out there. And it looks like Kakoa's having to fight that kind of fight. Going for that super kick. Dixon catches the boot. Oh, Ken Dixon. Oh, he's going for that power slam. That snap power slam. Kakoa scouted it. This could be it. Very smart by Mike Kinner seeing that Ken's shoulders were not on that mat. He was going for his best move. That's what he calls it, folks. I'm not lying. There's that line by Dixon. The back elbow ducks. Look out oh, with the spear. spear! He got him! Oh, it. What the oh, hell? Oh, come what on. is the King doing here? That's the King McBride. What the hell is he doing? He's ruining a great match. Are you kidding me? This is what the people wanted. They have been looking forward to this so much, Ricky. I will say McBride is gone on record to say that he's always been, he's, he's kind of jealous of Kakoa, let's hear the official word. Senior referee Mike Keener, that this match must restart. Oh, Keener calling the shots, he's not letting it end like that. That's why we got Keener in there, man. That's 30 years of experience. McBride has outright said that he doesn't like what, that Kakoa gets the big time title match. Well, too bad, there's exactly. the snap suplex. Tough Teddy said the kitty, but the milk's still good. Ken Dixon. Oh, but speed of somebody. Oh, oh it's the Mecca. Can we not get a damn title match here tonight? Why are these guys, they're just inserting themselves into this heavyweight title picture, playing spoiler. What the hell is going on? Is, there, is it a full moon tonight? No, Mecca's just obsessed with the MCW championship. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this match will restart. Good. Keener being very liberal. We deserve a winner. We deserve a champion. It's not their fault these guys are coming out. It's not about Kakoa and Ken Dixon. They're not uh, causing this interference. As you see, the double clothesline, and Mike Keener knows it. He knows that the Mecca and McBride went into business for themselves. Oh, so is the Kingpin to Marcus Oh, my King. God. The Kingpin. Oh! Running over Ken and Kakoa. The Rage TV champ making his presence. Oh, all right. Take it easy. That's a fine. You psycho. Like, the K 
Kingpin has lost his damn mind. You don't shove referee Keener. You don't spoil a heavyweight title match. Ah, oh, Super Kid! There you go, Kikoa. Exactly what he deserved. Dixon taking out Demarcus Kane. Oh my God, Keener. Keener's taking his lumps in this too. Ladies and gentlemen, senior referee Mike Keener. Oh, Phil. Has declared uh, yeah, this yeah, match enough. will be thrown out. It is a double disqualification. I think Phil's, Phil's calling as well. Hold on. No DQ? Come on, general managers. But how wide? I think this is a good idea. What do you say? I'm going to have enough. Let's make this a no-disqualification match, and let's start it right now. Hell yeah! That's all well and good, but how smart is that on Kakoa's part? That's right up Ken Dixon's wheelhouse. He don't care. They're fighting, tooth and nail, fighting to skin, fighting to the burger, fighting to the bone. Let's play it to the bone, boys, for the title. Oh, that's it, Keener taking his lumps. Keener is down. What the hell? And the mad dash begins to Marcus Kane. This is ridiculous. Johnson. McBride. Oh, and Joe Keys. Joe Keys. Dusty coming out, they're at. They're even in the odds, I hope. All of these men, oh, oh, caught him. Looking for that German, got it. Dante Caballero up and Joe Keys. Jesus Christ. All these men just inserting themselves in this heavyweight title picture. Oh, and there goes Dante Caballero. Oh. Joe Keys smashed by DeMarcus Kane. Oh, but here comes the prize. Oh my goodness, be blessed. It's a mess. Moses! Battle of the Bulls! Wow, I would love to see this one. And we're gonna see tag team action, mixed tag action later. The heavyweight title though, still going on. Caballero, Keys. Here comes Kakoa the Hawaiian Warrior yeah! flies! He flies! Kakoa making sure that nobody is gonna take this opportunity away from him. Keep your eye on the rabbit pit bull, the Mecca. Going for that line, that locomotive. Ken Dixon grabs him. This is the man he won the title from. A man that is obsessed with the FCW Championship. Oh, he's stripping him. He's stripping him. Back to back. Super kick. Oh, this is Kakoa's moment. We can have a new champ. Oh. Keener's slow to get over there. Just enough time for Ken Dixon to come back to his senses. Keener's doing his best. He's been he's been, beating, he's been beating pillar to post. He's been beating just as much as Kakoa and Ken has. Dixon trying to shake off the cobwebs. I don't know if that was pure instinct. That he was able to kick out of that just, super kick. It was just muscle memory. I think you may be right as now Kakoa going to the top, but Dixon able to fight him off. What a chaotic heavyweight title match we have seen thus far. Everybody wants that championship, but it's between these two. It's between Kakoa and Ken. That's where it started, that's where it should stay. Headbutts from Kakoa, knocking Dixon. Kakoa right at home on that top rope. To his feet, and Number again! King. This is where he wants to be. Oh, there may be no saving Ken this time. Kakoa, reclaiming. Rock splash. Can he capitalize? This could do it, one. God, come on. McBride is screwing Kakoa left and right this year. This We're is unbelievable. Kakoa is blowing his top and rightfully so. Of course Go he get should. Him. McBride is screwing him in Parkville, now he's screwing him here in Joppa. Kakoa has no choice. He's got to take out the uh, the threat that is McBride, but Ken right there. Ken with the best move. Not scared to go there. The cover. That'll do it. That's the winner. And still, the MCW.